All right, hey everyone. I am making a video today that unfortunately I wish I didn't have to make, but I think it's gotta get said. Today I was doing some testing comparing GPT-5 Nano to 4.0 Mini, especially being used inside of clay.com, and the results were actually a little disappointing. And this is coming from OpenAI's probably biggest fan. I, I don't even have any other accounts. I don't have a Claude account and I don't have any of the other accounts because we just use OpenAI so much. And I was a little bit disappointed. And if I'm wrong about this video, somebody pointed out to me, but I did a bunch of tests and five was just as smart as 4.0 mini, but it was always more expensive. I don't think I found a single case where it wasn't more expensive. And so I'm just going to run through the experiments that I did in order to figure this out. And uh, hopefully this is just something that Maybe there's some bug, but I can, I have a guess at why it's more expensive. And I think it's because it's a reasoning model. So it's thinking about the response and it's charging you for the tokens when it's thinking about that response. And then, you know, that's why the cost goes up. But if we look at this table in here, basically what I did is I had a list of websites over here. And then I had one prompt for a GPT-5 Nano over here. And then I took the same exact prompt and then I pushed it into a GPT-40 mini. And that's what I did for everything. So we're going to look at Clagent finding recent uh, case studies, at it finding recent company news, and then just being used as a regular AI in here. And then we're going to look at it for finding a CEO contact as well. And it just, it was more expensive and it didn't always get better results, which was kind of crazy, right? So... Uh, when we were first doing the case study extraction, if you guys care about picking apart my prompt, I'll scroll through it if you'd like. Mainly what I did is I just did this very quickly. I used Clay's uh, prompt generator and then I kept the prompts the same. So there shouldn't be any crazy differences. So for Clay.com, it picked up their case study on Verkata. And then with 4.0 Mini, it picked up the opening eye case study. Both of these are great. But if instant, it, interestingly, it got for the Notion case study, it picked up UX case study, which UX case study template is a perfect tool for UX designers looking to showcase there. So this isn't even really, this is a template. This isn't even really a case study. And then 4.0 Mini picked up Ramp with Notion. Every person at Ramp has an AI assistant. Okay, so crushed it over there. Both of them got through the reddit.com one where that's intentionally you you can't find it. If you've ever visited reddit.com, it's it'll just bring you straight into the social media platform, so it's not going to be there. For HubSpot, it found it. For demand base, it found it. Go Tylus is an e-commerce company, so it's not going to be there. And then coldoutbound.com, I actually just I own coldoutbound.com and I wanted to run it to see if it's a completely blank domain. What is it going to come up with? But while that's running, notice how you know, for Rippling supports many users, berries and powers their workforce, 0 0.001, 0 0.001, but this was more expensive. And then for Clay's case studies, 0 0.003, 0 0.001. Kind of bad. Oh, look, and then no case study found, and this was even faster over here. So 0 0.0005, which is great because there's nothing on this domain right now. And then we'll see what it gets back with over here. But uh, any comparison that you do... None of them are cheaper on, oh, we got talking, talking tacos on both of these, 0 0.0012, 0 0.0016. None of these are cheaper, um, which I find to be really, really interesting. And this one is still cute, which, I mean, it's a reasoning model, so give it a little. So in another comparison I said is, okay, let's look for recent company news and just see what it finds uh, as the recent company news. And let's actually... Uh, add the title in for these as well too and so then for the recent company news maybe we'll catch some similar things but again so uh it caught august 5th they raised 100 million dollars okay your boy was in the new york times article so that was fun point zero zero four point zero zero one rippling point zero zero one it couldn't get a date on this one new evidence shows deal okay whatever like not this isn't really that recent launched yeah okay not a great one from either of them but this one was still cheaper sales tax on vitamins and supplements okay what is are we actually looking at here this is just a blog article 2025 521 again this is the gpt5 column this is the 40 mini column numeral acquires ruby card team this is a way better news article 
that's actually kind of comical because I know for a fact that this was recent because uh, I saw their LinkedIn post about this. So this was extremely recent and it's news. 0. 0.0014, 0. 0.002, Pff, not even close. Notion in Indonesian Thai. Okay, what are we even saying here? Notion is now available in Indonesian Thai and Vietnamese. Okay, that's that's newsworthy. Okay, 722. How Aaron is making the office less lonely. Okay, so this is a blog, but this is more recent as well too, and we could prompt this away. And so, but if you look at these, it's all. Oh, here is the first instance, the first time that we found that 40 Mini is more expensive than five nano which and then if you don't believe me again recent company five nano here recent company news 40 mini here so this is one instance here 40 mini was got the same exact result and, and it was more expensive so that's one count for them demand base announces availability of gtm ai agents okay 716 perfect these are exactly the same 0 0.007 0 0.003 half the cost over here what the heck are we doing right so then i thought to myself okay maybe it's just clagent clagent is prompted for 40 mini maybe that's just the, the way that it's going to be let's just use a regular ai instead and so then i had it take the case study input the same case study input same exact thing five nano and then 40 mini and now i'm going to address this real quick i already submitted this as a bug i wanted to get this video out as fast as i could ha very happy to be proven wrong on this video i do not want this i i want to delete this video the only thing is they have a bug clay has a bug right now for the total cost to ai providers and i wasn't going to wait for them to fix it so i did the math in a chat gpt ui over here which all of this math looks legit i did it on my phone as well too but, and then I just put it in here so that you could see it. So if anybody had any questions about that, and I'm not sure if I showed this, but five nano here, uh, four oh mini here, right? And so then, uh, hey, so the work you did with Verkata and how you helped them achieve a 2X increase in LinkedIn ad target matrix and wanted to get connected. Great. And then it, it has the same output, same exact thing. This cost 0. 0.0006. This was 0. 0.0001. Not looking good. Then the other one that I have the math on, and if people care, I can give more math, I suppose. But then, uh, hey, saw the work you did with Kaihan Space and how you helped them 8x improvement in developer speed. Amazing. Hey, saw the work you did with Kaihan Space and how you, it's the same output. But this cost was 0 0.0003. This cost is 0 0.001. Not really great. Not looking great. And I am the biggest fan of, of OpenAI. And then this final test really was kind of the nail of the coffin for me. So then we used a template from Clagent. So if you go into templates and you hit find CEO contact, this is what I was using. Five nano, their template, 40 mini, same exact template. What do we got here? So for instance, one, I don't know who Cliff Skelton is, but they're not the CEO of clay.com. Both of them got that wrong. Both of them, well, actually, 4.0 got it wrong for 0 0.002, 5 nano got it wrong for 0 0.02. And I hope I'm not, I hope there's no mistakes in this. This is crazy. Then we have Parker Conrad for Rippling and Parker Conrad for Rippling 0 0.003 versus 0 0.005. Still pretty crazy. Sam Ross, I know for a fact he's the CEO. This is still cheaper with 4.0 mini. It, five did not get that Ivan Zhao is the CEO of Notion. And to, I better not be an idiot. Yes, totally. Paul Cobblestone, CEO of, uh, of Superbase. This is true. I looked this one up. This one was cheaper, but this one we got it. Adam Guild absolutely is the CEO of Owner.com. Didn't get it over here, but did get it over here. They got the same one here, 0 0.003, 0 0.004. Okay, this was more expensive in this regard. Mm, same one. Another instance of 40 mini being more expensive, but not that crazy. Same response, but 40 mini way cheaper. And then Rob Kessler, 40 mini got, and I know that this is true as well. And then this costed two cents, and this costed 0 0.005. So anyway, unless this is crazy and I am completely wrong. I think we're going to keep using 40 mini. This is pretty shocking. And I wish this video was going the other way and we were really saving like 30 or 50%. But like I said, I really think it has to do with the tokens because see how the total input tokens to find, actually, this is a bad example because you have no clue what Clayton is doing on the back end. So let's just look at it where it should absolutely be comparable tokens, right? 
tokens used here was 2,500. 954 input, 1586 on the output. That means there was a lot of reasoning being done on this output because when you compare it over here, 972 input, we had 954 input, okay, same stuff, 38 output tokens. So that reasoning that they're doing is really a gigantic difference in this cost. And yeah, I, I guess for now we won't be making the switch. So this is unfortunate, but I wanted to get a video out as fast as I possibly could. We're going to keep on using 4.0 Mini for the time being until I see evidence otherwise. And like I said, I hope I'm wrong. Somebody show me. No, Eric, you're an idiot. You can actually save money because I'd love to see it. Um, this makes me just think more that we need to be looking at their open source models as well, too. But anyway, thanks as always for watching.